Just a quick follow-up video on the HT101 thermal imager. I've had the opportunity to use this thermal imager in my workplace for the last week or two, or three, and it actually does a reasonable job. One of the other things I've also noticed is a lot of searches coming back with the HT102. So I thought I'd just go over the differences between the HT102, which is cheaper, and the HT101. The HT102 has two cameras in it. One is a visible light spectrum, and the other is the thermal imaging camera. The thermal imaging camera on the HT102 is only a low resolution camera, 32 by 32. And having the second camera, the visible light, is actually a bonus in this case, allowing you to see where the hot spots are relative to what it's looking at. The HT101 has a much higher resolution thermal image. However, it doesn't have the built-in camera on the same module. So it relies on the camera that's in your phone for the visible light spectrum. The camera on the phone is typically a lot further away from the thermal imaging sensor compared to the HT102. Given the choice of the HT102 or the HT101, I would take the HT101 every time because of the higher resolution and greater accuracy of the thermal sensor. You can see the case is a little bit scuffed up. I've been using this in a flour mill to scan switchboards, control boards and even motors. And some of the images that it comes up with are actually quite good. I think it is worth spending the extra money on the HT101. That's my impressions anyway. The way you'd go is your own choice. I'm not being sponsored for this at all. I'll talk to you in another video.